Welcome back to Every Wise Guy Sammy the Bull Testified Against. This is part two of a three-part series and consists of men 13 to 24 out of 37 men who were testified on. Part one's link is in the description. Hope you enjoy. Number 13, Gambino Captain Daniel Marino. Rather than hearing Sammy the Bull's testimony, Daniel Marino took a seven-year plea bargain on April 20th, 1993 for various charges ranging from conspiracy to murder. It said Marino was involved in the murder of Thomas Spinelli, who was suspected of planning to testify before a grand jury on a New York City trash hauling case connected to La Cosa Nostra. Marino was released after serving six years and is said to have returned to his crew in the Queens faction of the Gambino family. Number 14, Gambino Captain John Gambino. After testifying and sending John Gotti to prison for life, Sammy the Bull returned to testify against John Gambino and his brother Joseph, who were accused of running a major heroin ring for the Gambino family. Gravano also implicated John Gambino as being a participant in the murder of his own brother-in-law, Nino Inzarello, claiming that Gambino lured him into a cafe where Inzarello was killed. Gambino was getting his shipments from the Sicilian Mafia. The heroin was refined in Sicily and cut with morphine. John Gambino was said to be smuggling $600 million worth of dope into the U.S. every year. Gambino was actually convicted and sentenced to six and a half years in Palermo in 1980, but was able to remain free because the United States didn't agree with Italy's request for extradition and was also acquitted in a New Jersey drug case along with his brother Joe, but their other brother Rosario Gambino was sentenced to 45 years. In the trial against John Gambino and his co-defendants, the prosecution, along with Sammy the Bull's testimony, painted the defendants as big-time heroin smugglers, bringing heroin from Sicily and South America to the U.S. But Gambino's lawyers argued that the drug and murder charges brought against him were based on the testimony of Marino Manoy and Sammy the Bull, who the lawyers said are murderers and liars, and said their testimony is uncorroborated. The trial ended in a mistrial in June of 1993, but Marino Manoy joined the Witness Protection Program and claimed he personally seen Gambino inspecting the heroin in their lab in Palermo, Italy. Ultimately, the brothers were forced to plead guilty to 15-year sentences with no parole. Gambino served about 10 years and was released in October of 2005 and was then arrested again to face another extradition request from Italy. Gambino made bail and was freed again in September of 2006 when a federal judge overruled the decision saying he already served 15 years and can't be tried again for the same charges. John Gambino died on November 16, 2017 of natural causes. Number 15, Gambino Captain Ralph, Ralphie Bones Mosca, a.k.a. Bunzi. Mosca and his son Peter, along with crew member Joseph Passante, were all indicted on September 20th, 1991 for allegedly running a huge gambling enterprise from upstate New York to Brooklyn, Queens, and the Bronx, as well as New Jersey, which they were said to have been running since 1980. That is all the information I have on Ralph Ralphie Bones Mosca. Number 16, Gambino Soldier Paul Graziano. Francisco Paul Graziano was indicted on May 11, 1993 for conspiring to murder Louis de Bono in an attempt to advance himself in the Gambino family. Graziano entered a plea agreement, which he pled guilty to one count and was sentenced to 10 years in prison and three years supervised release, as well as a $250,000 fine. Number 17, Gambino soldier Anthony Vinciulo. Alongside Pasquale Conte and Paul Graziano, Anthony Vinciulo, 58 years old of Bethpage, New York, was charged with conspiring to kill Louis de Bono. In Gravano's testimony, he stated that Conte was the man who the contract was given to. 
Finchulo was still being sought after by law enforcement while Conti and Graziano were being arraigned. No other information has surfaced about Vinciullo's sentencing. Number 18, Gambino soldier Domenico Cefalu. Due to the 1992 investigation on Pasquale Conte over the murder case of Louis de Bono, Dominic Italian Dom Cefalu was summoned to testify by the grand jury. Cefalu only answered a few questions before refusing to testify. The judge on the case charged him with contempt and sentenced him to 18 months in jail. Cephalou was again summoned to testify in Conti's trial on February 23, 1993, and again he refused. Upon his release from jail on February 6, 1994, Cephalou was indicted on criminal contempt charges for his refusal and was convicted in 1996 and sentenced to another 33 months. Number 19. Gambino soldier Francesco Versaglio. Versaglio was another Gambino soldier called to testify against Pasquale Conte about the De Bono murder and conspiracy to distribute heroin charges. Despite Versaglio being offered immunity for his testimony, Versaglio refused to testify against Conte. That case ended in a mistrial and Versaglio was ultimately charged with criminal contempt and pled guilty. On April 13, 1995, Versaglio was ordered to pay a fine, which he paid in full only five days after sentencing, despite the government having possession of all of his assets. The prosecution pushed the residing judge to sentence Versaglio to jail time, but under Section 401 of the United States Sentencing Guidelines, for criminal contempt, you can either be fined or imprisoned, but not both. Number 20. Gambino soldier Orazio Stantini. Orazio Stantini and co-conspirator Robert Bissaka were both indicted and charged with conspiracy to commit murder as well as murder in April of 1993 for the hit on Francesco Oliveri that took place in May of 1988. The indictment was a result of Sammy LeBull's cooperation agreement with the FBI and included Gambino members John Gotti, Lorenzo Menino, John and Joseph Gambino, and Sammy LeBull himself. The majority of the government's evidence at the Stantini and Bissaka trial in the Eastern District of New York came from Gravano's testimony. Sammy testified that they murdered Oliveri as a retaliation for the murder of their fellow crew member Giuseppe Gambino. In his testimony, Gravano claimed that Stantini was at the scene of the murder in a separate car with Joseph Gambino as backup shooters in case things went wrong with the main shooter, Basaka. In Gravano's initial debriefing with the FBI, he failed to mention Stantini as being involved in the Oliveri hit. But when Gravano received the call from FBI Special Agent Thomas Petruski, who was investigating the murder in 1992, Petruski asked Sammy if Stantini was involved, and it was only then that Gravano remembered Stantini's role and placed him at the scene. Ultimately, Stantini was found guilty of his charges in 1993, and in June of 1995, Stantini was sentenced to 27 years in prison, and co-conspirator and fellow Gambino soldier Robert Basaka received the life sentence. Number 21, Gambino soldier Philip Philly Dogs Mazzara. Philip Mazzara was charged alongside Gambino associate James Faglia, Daniel Marino, Joseph Watts, Dominic Borghese, and trigger man Louis Astudo with conspiring to kill fellow Gambino associate Thomas Spinelli in April of 1989, who was shot to death in Brooklyn. And according to the complaint, his body was never found. Spinelli was killed because he began testifying in front of a grand jury and was believed to be a liability so the Gambinos did what they do and eliminated him. Mazzara pleaded not guilty to the charges and was released on a million dollar bond. There was no information regarding Mazzara's sentence. Number 22, Gambino soldier Louis Astudo. Louis Astudo, as mentioned before, was charged with conspiring to kill Gambino associate Thomas Spinelli, who had just began testifying in front of a grand jury. And according to Gravano's testimony, Astudo was the alleged trigger man on the Spinelli hit. 
Luis Estudo, who was 64 years old and sick with cancer at the time of his sentencing, was sentenced to seven years in prison. Number 23, Gambino associate Dominic Fat Don Borghese. Dominic Borghese, who was also charged in the Spinelli hit, decided to take Sammy LeBeau's route and turned government witness. He went on to testify against one of Gotti's trusted enforcers, an infamous gangster, Joe the German Watts. Borghese testified that for Watts' role in the Castellano hit as backup shooter, he inherited Castellano's very lucrative loan sharking business. Borghese was given a lighter sentence and time served for his testimony. Watts' defense team stated that Borghese is a habitual liar who would do anything to avoid prison time, including lie on the stand and to the government. Last but not least, number 24, Gambino soldier Joseph Gambino. As part of the fallout of Sammy LeBeau turning government witness, Joseph Gambino, who is 54 years old, and his brother Thomas Gambino, 61 years old, were both charged with 52 counts of larceny, enterprise corruption, extortion, coercion, and restraint of trade. The charges carried a prison term of up to 25 years, but the brothers, who were extremely wealthy from their garment district rackets, took a no-jail plea deal where they agreed for a single count of illegal restraint of trade and to pay a $12 million fine and agreed to stay out of the garment business forever. Thank you for watching part two of the three-part series, Every Wise Guy Sammy the Bull Testified Against. This video consisted of men 13 to 24, and the final part will consist of men 25 to 37. If you haven't already, please subscribe and click the notification bell for part three and other great content as well. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please smash the like button. Thanks again. It's Wise Guy TV.